That business that you want, that book you want to write, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny, that is yours. That's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, be lonely, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Nothing can resist a person that has that kind of commitment. If you want to change your life in 2024, it takes this one thing you got to do. Raise your standards. Your standards are the things that determine the quality of the life you're living right now. As human beings, we usually end up falling to the level of our standards. For most people, being broke is the standard. You'll accept just getting by, just having enough, doing the bare minimum in their job. But for some people out there, the rare individuals, their standards are to excel, to go beyond what is expected of them, to have more than enough, to not just serve those they care about, but to amaze them. In order to get to that level, you have got to start expecting more from yourself. Stop letting yourself off the hook so easily. You know you can do more. You know you can be more. You know you have more fight in you. So. You have got to start pushing yourself to strive for not just completion, but perfection. Doing things to the very best of your ability, doing things better than anyone else is willing to. You get to a point where you don't care how many hours it takes, how much effort it requires. You just do what you know you need to do in order to create results that will make your life better in the long run. If you think you're just going to dream big and wake up to everything being perfect, you're dead wrong. Life's going to knock you down again and again. It's going to test your dreams, pushing you to see if you've really got what it takes. It's going to hurt like hell. It's going to strip you to your core, but it isn't meant to break you. These trials are there to show what you're made of, to push out the real you. It's there to push the greatness that's on the inside of you out. You need to be sick and tired of feeling like a loser. And you got to start acting like a winner. A winner doesn't slack off. A winner doesn't do the bare minimum. A winner does whatever the hell it takes to win, no matter the cost. Those winners in life embrace challenges. They don't shy away from tough situations. They see them as opportunities to grow stronger. Where others see obstacles, winners see stepping stones to victory. They tackle problems head on without any hesitation because they know that overcoming challenges is what makes them better. I want you to control what you think about and fill your mind with positive thoughts. If you don't choose what to think about, life will choose for you. Pay attention to how you talk to yourself and believe that you are more than capable. You were meant to do this. Start planning for what you want because you expect to achieve it. You expect to win. You expect to create a life of greatness for yourself. If you want to achieve your goals and make your dreams come true, don't do it half-hearted. You got to go all in. You got to put in more effort and energy than ever before. You need to wake up and realize the amount of effort you're leaving on the table and all the possibilities you have right now to become more. You can do be and have so much more than you do right now, but you've got to see that for yourself because until you do, you're not going to change anything. I want you to go find out what your life could look like if you stop paying attention to the cost of every action you're making and started paying attention to the possibilities for working harder. What would your life be like if you started to force yourself to work more hours, to study harder, to do more reps? Question yourself on this and then go do everything in your power to go find out. You'll like your life, change it. You got the power to change the dynamics of your life. You don't have to just take it. Just like whatever it is, it is. No, do not accept that. If you always do what you've always done, you're gonna always be where you've always been. Disruption is having the courage to break out of the box 
Break out of the box of normalcy. Break out of the box of complacency. Break out of the box of your comfort. Success is not a comfortable procedure. You got to become comfortable with being uncomfortable. If you ever want to be successful, you can't have a new life until you have the courage to disrupt your old life. As long as you won't disrupt what you told yourself you deserve in this world, you will never have an opportunity to walk into what is possible for you. You got to start with small steps. The journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. So work on the immediate steps you can take right now today to move yourself forward. Forget about tomorrow. Forget about what happened yesterday. What are you going to do today to positively create momentum in the direction you want to head? You need to be patient and engage in consistent action. Big changes don't happen overnight. Your dreams and dream life is like planting a garden. You plant the seeds, water them, and wait. It takes a lot of time and consistently caring for them and nurturing them for it to grow. So you got to keep feeding your dreams, putting in the daily efforts to step toward them. Slowly but surely, your efforts will pay off in the long run. But you have to give it time and attention. Each little change you make in your life adds up and starts to make your life different. When you do this, you're planting seeds of opportunity and with time and care, they'll grow into pivotal life experiences that will change you as a person and increase your abilities. Your belief in what you're doing, the effort you're putting in, the dream you're chasing, the belief you have for that vision of your future has to be so strong that it blocks out everyone else's disbelief. You get to the point where anyone else's opinions or judgments on what you're doing bounces right off you and has no effect on the moves you're making. They keep talking sh and you keep working. They gossip and make jokes and you keep working. They keep focusing on everything and everyone else and you keep working. And years from now, they'll look over at you and your life and realize that they have nothing left to talk sh about. Because while they were focused on tearing other people People down. People like you were focused on building something great of your own. When your life gets hard, you got to decide to stand up for yourself. Fight back. Don't let bad thoughts or what others say stop you. Tell yourself you can do it. You can handle it. You're going to get through it and nothing small will stop you. The key is to keep your focus inward. Work on improving yourself, chasing your dreams and building your future. Let your success and your achievements be your response to their disbelief and negativity. Remember, true winners focus on their own lane, building their path to greatness, undeterred by the distractions around them. And you have to remember, everyone makes mistakes when trying new things. Mistakes are okay. They're how you learn, how you develop. What's important is that you keep going, keep trying, and don't ever give up. You'll fall flat on your face so many times. People will laugh at you. They'll make fun of you. But as long as you keep trying and keep getting back up and going at it, you'll be the last one laughing because you will make more progress than those other people ever will. Every time you try something different and go at it again, you're one step closer to the life you want. So you gotta go for it. Dare to disrupt your old ways. Believe in yourself and the amazing things you know you can do if you really tried your hardest. Life happens. Things happen out of your control. Now you can either respond to that in the way you should or you can let that mess you up. It's not what happens to you in life that determines your future. It's how you respond to what happens to you that determines your future. I fail over and over and over again in my life. And that's why I succeed. You get to make a choice. Is failure going to break you or is failure going to make you? You get to decide failure doesn't. You're not finished. If you're alive, you're not finished. No, no, you got another gear in you. So everybody, I can because I'm capable. I will because I'm strong. I must because they count on me. It's going to take everything in you that your life deserves the concentrated effort to begin to look at how is it that I can express more of me. How is it that I can bring my ideas out here now? Don't allow that inner doubt in you to talk you out of it, to build a case on why you can't have it, to tell you why you're not good enough. 
You ignore that inner voice and all of the external voices. Don't judge the possibilities for what you can do based upon the circumstances because the circumstances won't determine who you are. Don't determine what you're able to do based upon your resources. Don't determine what's possible for you based upon where your life is right now. Where your life is right now is not you. That's just what it is right now. If you're coming back from adversity and devastation, it's unlimited of what you can do. When you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. When you're uncommon, have uncommon ways. Get ready for people to try and block you and conspire against you. That person who was your hater, they thought they defeated you. That person who told you you'll never amount to anything, they thought they defeated you. Use it for fuel, use it for energy. Put them on the mental Rolodex in your mind. And when you don't want to do sh roll through your brain. Pull up that motherfucker that you need. That person who said you couldn't do something. Use it for energy. Instead of killing them with kindness, towards them with fucking success. Oh, you're being unrealistic. You're dreaming. Yes, I am dreaming. So a lot of people have stopped dreaming. Don't you stop dreaming. You are powerful. You direct the power in your life. Whatever your life is right now, it is a duplication of your consciousness. It's a result of how you have decided to use your power. And you've got the power to change that. But you don't know what has happened to me. It really doesn't matter what has happened to you. The only thing that really matters is what are you going to do about it? I can become upset, nervous, weak about it, or I can say it's okay. Make it okay. If it becomes hard, then do it hard. But many of us just stop dead in our tracks. I don't know what to do. You do know what to do. You've got genius in you. Challenge yourself. Push yourself. Make yourself come up with something. See, the universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied. Because that is your commitment. That business that you want. That book you want to write. That dream that you have of controlling your destiny. That is yours. That's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment. Not have support. Be lonely. Doubt yourself sometimes. Be rejected again and again and again. And refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Nothing can resist a person that has that kind of commitment. You'll constantly keep moving. You'll constantly keep getting better so that you are never stuck in one place for the rest of your life. You're going to find a way or make a way and you'll stop at nothing to get it. hope it's worth it. This society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please, you're all too loud You don't speak quietly, opinions violently